Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a paper clip chain and it looks like this. And I did already start it a little bit just to kind of show you guys what I'm what I'm working on, how I'm doing it. And all I'm doing is taking some pliers that have different size rounds. And you can do it any size you want to do. You don't have to do it um, the size I'm doing it. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger, you can do anything like that. So I'm just grabbing it and twisting it around. And then I like to kind of squeeze it back around just to kind of tighten it up. For mine, I don't really care if they're exactly, actually, you know, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space. And this that I'm working with right here is half round wire 16 gauge from Rio Grande. So I'm just kind of making that tighter so that it's not so much slack in it. I want them to be at least similar in size. And then just taking some snips and snipping them. And just making it so it meets up. My board is just super wonky, so that's the only reason I'm using a honeycomb. You could use any kind of soldering block that you want to. Next, I want to put my borax or flux where it's going to be soldering. And I like to snip off a few pieces of solder so it's a little bit easy to work with. Um, that way you don't get too much solder. And I'm putting it over here on this little block and you'll see why in a second. If I put it just on the honeycomb, it usually just falls through the honeycomb. So that's one reason. If you're not using honeycomb to solder it on, um, you could just um, take tweezers and put it directly on it. And I can kind of show you guys that too for the people that don't have a little soldering pick. There we go. And 
I'm gonna do it like this so you guys can see that way as well. Another way you can do it too is having it on just a round surface and taking it and just putting it up against it and that'll make it flow to it too. It does have to be touching whatever it's gonna be soldering to. So that one kind of went to one side and not to the other side. Sometimes if you heat it, there you go. Now it's all the way around. So, and then another way you can do it is just tapping it. I don't like doing it really exactly like this because, um, so see how it balled up like that? Um, it can get too much solder. Oh, and that just messed up that one, so. Actually, we'll just get rid of that because I don't want it to mess up another one. I should have let it get a little bit warmer and then done it. Um, but I just don't really like tapping solder when I'm making chains because you can't control how much you're putting on. And these are going to be really hot, so you do want to make sure not to touch them right away. So you just want to quench them. I use pH down and water to quench with. Now we have a bunch of links and we have a few more that aren't linked. So I like to take the original chain and then one of the links and put it in. Just picking up some more solder and tapping it. And then I like to quench it in between because we don't want to burn ourselves. to make it pulled out. I like to find the joint where I soldered it to, where I soldered it to. So right here's where I soldered it. And I like to take it right there and that's where I like to pull it out because I feel like it kind of hides it a little bit um, in the chain part of it when you're wearing it. You can't tell as much. And you just want to take any kind of pliers really and just stretch it out. I, I like pliers that are the same on both sides so it makes it a little bit more even. And if you want, you can go in there and 
squish it a little bit, bring it together. And then the same process over and over again. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see that a little bit better. Just grabbing some solder. And tapping it down. just like that and then one thing I like to do also is um, sometimes I'll just use like even a little chain link and make a little sp ring spot and then a little round put the chain in it And you can wrap it back around on itself like so to make a little clasp rather than having to buy one and I just like these a little bit better too because they just slip in they're a lot easier to find when you're trying to put them on where the other ones are so hard to get on and then I like to even solder that little piece in there so it doesn't come off you just want to be really careful with that because uh, you can get soldered to the other chain. Perfect. And quench it. Dry it off. Um, and then what I norm I would normally make this probably a like a 14 or 15 inch chain. Um, but just for video purposes, I'm gonna put that in my tumbler so you guys. So, um, this is a type of tumbler I have, um, and the rest of it's in my other room, but I will link it in my description below so you guys can get the same type of tumbler if you guys want. I really like it. It goes really fast and it cleans really well too. And this is an example of what it looks like when it comes out. Nice and pretty and shiny. So. Thanks for watching, guys.